Uh, so, we've got to make it down. And we're like, hey, oh, how's it going? Everything's under control, they say. Not bad. Not right. bad. Getting to be a regular. That's right, you're damn straight. We like it here. This is. It feels like home. So we uh, head back down. Into the base. Do, 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 and if things have gone correctly, uh, there should be some shenanigans going on down in the medical ward. There are. What's going on? So uh, these these folk are like, oh, he's been pure. This the boy. He's been infected with a disease. He got bitten by a mole rat, and he's got mole rat disease. And look, there he is. He sleeps soundly, but in fact, he is boiling on the inside. Ah, oh, it's a sickening illness. And here we go, Jacob Forsyth and Penske. I'll just uh, chat shit for a little while. Let's just interrupt everything. Bobby DeLuca comes along like, guys, guys, I know, I know where the, I know where the mole rat came from. It's where I keep my smack. And they're like, it's where you keep your smack, you junkie. Shut your face. And he's like, no, honestly, honestly, I know where it is. And um, and then eventually they agree. They say, okay, you show us where dog meat seems to think there's something in there. I know what there's going to be in there. Let's just cause a little bit of havoc. Just for future reference, so that they'll never know it was us. <laughs> anyway, back to what we were saying. Um, yes, uh, Bobby DeLuca is saying, I know, where the, I know where there's a secret vault, it's where I keep my cams. So we get to follow young Bobby here. If it, if it will occur eventually. How would you like to do Vault 81 and potentially save a boy's life? And I'm like, hells yeah, that sounds like the kind of shit that I can totally get behind. And they're like, thank goodness that you are such a kindly gent. So with our, with our combat shotgun equipped, we tr attempt to follow Bobby DeLuca to his location that he wishes to take us to. Here he goes, he runs, look at him, he's very lithe, is Bobby DeLuca. He's got a very slight frame, and yet he is muscular. And that is why you can move with such speed. And then he stops because if, if you move next to any character in Fallout 4 while they're trying to take you somewhere, they will stop and turn to look at you and it's really annoying. But uh, yeah, here he is, he's going. And he's trapped again on another thing. For God's sake, Bobby, I know you're high, but come you on. could surely do better than this. Don't you tell me to come on, Bobby. This is your doing. You're the reason that we're falling behind. Come on, for fuck's sake. Let's just see if you'll come once we move ahead. Thank God. Oh, Jesus Christ, what a hassle. So he's getting there. There's a fun little uh, robot, the guy that like works here because Bobby's a junkie old rusty. He's like, for goodness sake, I work here all the time. And I do all the work and I get none of the support. And you can totally agree with him. Sounds like a typical boss. It's a relief. Ah, what is he like? Old rusty. He's clever. Anyhow, so we go back to Bobby DeLuca and he's like, ah, it's over here. And he opens it the, the way, the best way. Please, Bobby, will you hurry up and do your thing? This is torturous. And he does. The, he opens the door the only way that anyone could possibly know how by giving it a good, good thumping, and we head straight in. Ooh, adventure! This might be. This this. No, in fact, it should be fine. It should be fine. Um. All right, so here we are. We're heading in. We're heading in. Dustly. Uh, it's quite uh, quite dilapidated, significantly more dilapidated than the actual Vault 81. This is like a sort of secret side vault that lurks within it. It's quite exciting. There's a terminal that we're not going to use. A slime door that we are going to use. And as we sneak along... Oh, shit! There are turrets! And we don't want turrets. Turrets are actually really dangerous with this uh, mod set on because they do so much damage to you. And they can be very, very lethal. And a Protectron! Holy shit! So we blow the Protectron away. We blow the turret away. We take its fusion cells, its power relay coil, its steel, the usual. We'll take the 10mm rounds from the machine gun turret as well. That one's too far away, I'm not going to bother with that. Jeez, oh, that was a fast reload. Didn't expect that. Yeah, we move in. What do we find? But more turrets! Ah, oh, shock horror! Who saw that one coming? We got it. Nailed it. There is a protect... Why is that reloading so fast? It's weird. So we go to the terminal. It's a novice terminal. Password was face. And we can activate a Protectron buddy who'll come and help us, but I was mostly doing that for the experience, so it doesn't really matter. Let's run further in. 
and see what we find lurking deep within. There is an office desk fan, always useful, getting, getting your screws on the go, because screws are very important, especially if you're doing weapon mods. And then, oh dear, a dead mole rat just buried in the ground. That's a strange one. A Vault 81 lab mole rat as well, no regular mole rat. This is a brutal mole rat. So we head up this way. And oh shit, mole rats do what they do. But thankfully, we are armed with a combat shotgun. A combat shotgun is quite an effective way of uh, dealing with mole rats. Now, ideally here, you want to do it without getting hit. Like, not even once, which we managed to fail right there. Because now, if we go into our stats, we've got mole rat disease, which gives us max HP minus 10. Not a, uh, not an incredibly, not an incredibly huge, uh, huge boon. Uh, I mean, huge, uh, huge trouble. But at the same time, you don't want to be down 10 HP. And uh, also, that is... Well, well, well I'll, I'll reveal more about the Morat disease as the episode goes along. But as we come along, we start hearing voices. And it's actually coming from inside the vault. You can't actually see through it, but these are like observation windows. Or they were observation windows where they can hear the vault denizens talking. And that's quite shifty, I must say. We arrive along here, we find some wonder glue, but then, oh shit, the mole rats have come to give us all sorts of grief. But as I've said before, we are armed with a combat shotgun. Like, I'm going to, I'm going to, oh hang on, hang on now, I'll, uh, I'll uh, address something in just a second, we've got to level up. That horrible reload is so freaky. Uh, yes, look, so there's these, um, like, piles of mud that they're spawning in, but... Hey. But um, if you go down here, there's nothing underneath it. They're just popping up out of out of platform, which is quite strange. Although in Fallout Shelter, they kind of like mole rats can sort of head through. You know, they like wriggle through the circuitry and such like. So that's probably what it is. But still, seems a bit strange when they just come pouring up through uh, what appears to just be. What appears to just be a platform that you're standing on. Typically, you need floor to dig through, but I'm not one to judge. I wonder what kind of mod magazine we've got in. Like, what 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 mod is causing the reloads to be this fast? Because it looks like we've got some sort of really weird mag in the shotgun. That I'll have to uh, I'll have to change that at some point. Because it's really unsettling the fact that we're reloading really really quickly. So we find. Surprise, surprise, more and more rats. That one's a brood mother though, which is uh, pretty different. Bigger than the rest of them. It's not as big and fat. But I think it's most important that we get rid of the uh, glowing one. Because the brood mother. Oh, it's pregnant. That's a shame. Ah, oh, dearie me. But we come around here, we find some hides, some teeth. Oh, I should have been checking them for hides, because hides have leather in them, and leather is good. But it's not the end of the world. We've not really missed out on much. Come in here, we find the Vault 81 tech password, a couple of research terminals. The research terminals reveal that this uh, vault was designed to make horrible deadly diseases and the denizens of Vault 81 were to be test subjects for them after the mole rat testing phases were finished. Uh, but the scientists had second thoughts. They, um, they actually, for once in the Fallout game, the scientists in a vault got cold feet and they decided no they weren't gonna release the disease into the population which was nice of them but then the mole rats got loose and killed them anyway but um yeah that's how that went down but unfortunately now the mole rats that are infected with all these diseases are uh, causing kind of havoc they've gotten loose and they're gonna start eating people and you can find the graves of the scientists buried in little lockers which is a shame because we come along here oh and we find an adorable French, uh, uh, Mrs, what are they called, Mrs Nannies. She's like, are you a vault tech representative? And we're like, yes, yes I am. Superb. Oh, poor Kiri. She is lovely. Superb. Oh. She's just a very polite little medical robot that's lived in the vault her entire life. And we're like, you are released from your horrible torment of being stuck here forever. And she says to us, eventually, if we can actually get her to do her thing. She's like, I've got this for you. She gives us the Vault 81 cure, which is a cure-all for every disease known to man. But, unfortunately, uh, there's only one of them. And there is a sick boy. So we're like, thanks, bud. And she's like, I'm going to come up with you into the vault. 
just just so that I know how to get out. And we're like, ah, that's fine, don't you worry, hen. She follows us along into this here elevator, or she'll at least try, but uh, we're not gonna do that because that'd be really cramped and we don't need that to happen. It'll give us the fear. Oh, no, here she is anyway. And, uh, yeah, Curie's, Curie's nice, I like Curie. She's very polite and friendly and all she wants to know is just more about the world. She just wants to expand her knowledge base and I think that's a respectable goal. But, uh, yeah, so we head out of here. I activate this here terminal. And uh, open the door. Simple as that. But then if we come out here, we're right in the entryway. Nobody even bats an eyelid that this previously never opened door suddenly opened. You'd think they would have been a little bit more suspicious about that, but nah. They just had a door to nowhere in their uh, in their front hall. Fair enough. If we uh, if we head back down, down the horrible death lift that takes a thousand years to get to the bottom, probably because I'm loading the strings in the uh, INI files and such like. If we get down to the bottom of here, we'll be able to see what comes next, which hopefully will actually occur because uh, this this lift takes forever. I'm trapped in here with a robot and a dog, ah, but then it opens and it's okay, don't worry about it. And we come along here, head back down towards the medical room. They're all like, Jesus Christ, he's got a purpose. He is going somewhere and we're like, damn straight we are. And we arrive back in the medical bay. And he's like, "Do you do you, you manage to get it?" You're, we're like, "Ah, go on then, take the cure, use it on the boy, because to be honest, we can cope with not with having minus ten, uh, minus ten HP for the rest of the game. But the boy would die, and we wouldn't get the respect of the vault. And while that's going down, we'll go outside and talk to Curie, and she's she's really grateful that we let her loose, and she says that she will happily be a com a companion for us." Uh, because she wants to come with us and look for science. And, but, after bombs, like, after the bombs, the Commonwealth is lacking in the science department, Curie. But she, she's like, I just want to go and collect data then. And we're like, yeah, sure, but maybe later. She's like, I will hang around here until you want my help. And you can get Curie as a companion, and I really like Curie. I think Curie might be my favourite companion. She has a really nice storyline, but we're not going to find that out in this playthrough, so it doesn't really matter. So they're like, thank you very much for helping Word Boy. We're like, no bother. And he hands us a syringe. Uh, which is the rifle that lets you fire status uh, darts, and it's completely terrible. So we just put it down at his feet and just say, what the fuck do you call this? That's the shittest drawer there's ever been. But Overseer here understands that like it's good to pay. Pay, pay handsomely for such a handsome, handsome, a, a, a very, it's good to pay handsomely for such a, a, a dedicated, a dedicated person because we are, we are sacrificing our own health and our time to help out the vault and she understands, like services for services due, so she's given us a room, an actual little room for us to hang around in, in the vault, for us to call home. And I think that's a good a good reward. I would more than accept a room in the vault. In the vault, the room is on the left. If you were to come out of the elevator, it's just on the left, coming through here, sliding door, and then you've got our night. It's humble, it's humble, but it's home. So we'll have a have a little. We'll get an hour's rest. Ah, we're all well rested now. We'll level up. And uh, yes, right. What are we gonna go for this time? We can get rank three. A sneak. We wouldn't trigger mines anymore. Uh, what else could we get? Are there any other high level birds that we could pick up? You get ranked to a sniper, but to be honest, like, how often are we not just going to be one shot on an enemy if we hit them from long range? And uh, the extra 25% headshot accuracy is a bit, mm, it's a bit shabby. Uh, Okay, I think we're going to go with uh, Scrounger for the uh, more ammunition and containers. It's a really good perk because uh, you've any ammo that you find that you can't use, you can also you could you could just sell. Uh, yeah, pretty useful perk in all, in all honesty. Anyhow, I think for this part, that is going to be it. We have rescued a vault from certain death because the infection would have spread it had we not stopped it there, and thankfully we did stop it there. So no worries, GG. Anyhow. Uh, next time, I'm trying to think of what we'll, what we'll do next time. We'll probably do the next stage of the main quest and then we'll just take it from there. 
But at any rate, that is going to be it for this part. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, or any of that, any of those shenanigans. I appreciate all of them. You can also follow me on Twitter at GDWCRUN or on Facebook. The link to those are in the description down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for your time. And I will see you again next time. Bye-bye for now.